How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're talking about giving people the benefit of the doubt. It's something that I never did growing up as a teen. I think I should have gave people benefit of the doubt many times, but I was like a stupid teenager. Someone should have taught me that. It's an idiot. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure why. I uh, never thought that people had the best, in, like my best interest in their mind. But I always thought somebody would, I always thought people were out to get me for some reason. In your like 16, 17, 18, rebellious, stupid, think you know better age. <laughs> but, you know, to be honest, it changed quite a bit, like as an adult. I think it's a lot better to be giving people benefits of the doubt than to be cynical and to think that people were out to get you. That's what I think. People are not generally bad. On a side note, to be honest, <laughs> recently I did a, a stupid online test exam thing where they told me I was like 150% ADD. I didn't think I was because to be honest, no one has ever told me that, but like I cannot pay attention at all. As soon as the camera comes out, I'm like constantly looking at other things. I forget what I'm talking about. Whatever, we should make a video about that. Anyways, benefit of the doubt. I mean, people people do make mistakes, right? You just kind of like have to forgive them and just move on. If you, if you see a bad person, if you come across like somebody that's like genuinely bad, you just, you just basically stay away from them. I mean, I honestly would rather be disappointed once in a while than to live my life constantly thinking everyone's you know? Yeah, I would rather not have to live life like, like with, with like eyes like, you know, like these. That, those are called skeptical eyes. Thinking that someone's gonna constantly hurt you just creates like more paranoia. What I wanna do is just kinda like understand where people are coming from, where someone's coming from. Understand their like situation. Why did they feel like they had to do that? I'm trying to learn to like not blame it on their personality and just blame it situational. Like maybe the situation that they're in caused them to do that. What I wanna do is learn to like take the perspective and just assume their positive intent. I mean, I literally have to work on this. Uh, is this something you guys have thought about? Have you guys, are you guys just naturally like this? Cause I always, honestly, I always complain about things like, oh, there's someone cutting me off. Like he's an idiot. Maybe he doesn't know how to drive. Maybe he's super tired. Maybe, maybe he doesn't know where his blind spots are. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If they're just rude, just walk away. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> like I don't have time for you. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully you guys had a good time watching this vlog. Let me know what your thoughts are on in the comments. I want to hear you. Please write a comment below. You guys keep our vlog life alive. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on Saturday for another vlog.